Okay, so um, what I wanted to do this morning was because I had a little class yesterday on um, <laughs> we've been hearing a lot well I've been hearing a lot and I'm, I'm sitting outside this morning because it's so nice this morning but I, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today was I've been hearing a lot about things that uh, different companies are selling for smelly vaginas <laughs> And it was very um, disturbing to me, and it was very interesting at the same time because I hear a lot of women on these uh, commercials and now women on social media are saying, oh yeah, buy this and spread it around down there between your legs for that smelly, stinky vagina. Oh, and I hear some women saying, oh, my vagina smells so bad. Oh, my vagina has a terrible odor at the end of the day. Oh, I'm so stinky. And it's kind of disturbing to me that if you smell that bad, that you are willing to put something down there on your vagina that's not natural, that's not of God and that can possibly harm you and possibly cause you to have urinary tract infections that can possibly cause you to have yeast infections or even uh, cancer. We don't want to forget the um, powder situation with Johnson & Johnson do it. We don't want to forget that. But a lot of us women, we rather take the easy way out and the easy way out is just to buy something spread it down there between our legs we don't care if we can't read the ingredients we don't care if um it um if we cannot spell the ingredients we don't care about any of that as long as it smells good but here's the here's the um Here's the thing with that is, is that you can spread everything you want down there on your yoni, on your vaginas, between your legs, on your pubic hairs. If you have to spread something, something down there, then that means you're covering up the problem. And you're still going to have that stinky vagina. You're still going to have that smell, whatever, the, whatever your reasons are. And a lot of people don't want to put in the work and do what needs to be done so that you won't smell, so that you won't be musty like that. Um, so I'm here today to give you guys some tips on a happier, smelling, healthy vagina. And a lot of people don't want to put in the work. First thing I'm going to say is stop eating the meat, okay? Because meat can cause you to have a stinky smelly uh, vagina that has a lot of discharge that has a lot of issues it can cause you to uh, sweat more than usual it can cause you to be very musty in your pubic hairs but i'm going to give you some things today natural ways that can help you but the first thing is like i said we must eat healthier we must stop it with all of the meat all of the um, um, animal protein. We must cleanse ourselves and detox our bodies so that our vaginas can detox naturally and get rid of all the bad bacteria. But while you're doing that, I'm going to give you some tips on things that you can use that's just plants and that will help you instantly. Um, First, we want to talk about uh, apple cider vinegar, okay? You can use a cup full, that's a coffee cup full of apple cider vinegar uh, in your bath water at night. And that will take odors away naturally, naturally. Just fermented apples, ACV, apple cider vinegar. You want to use the... I like the Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Um, 
and ladies, it's best to change your underwear two times a day, in the morning and at night before you go to bed, or no panties at all so that the vagina can breathe. Also, what about cranberries? Cranberries have a lot of compounds. They have acid compounds that fight bad bacteria. So if you can just sit up and drink two to three glasses of cranberry juice a day or just a handful of cranberries, put them in your mouth, chew them suckers up and swallow them down. Um, that would help the odor of the vagina and the mustiness of the pubic hairs. Sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are full of vitamin A, full of it. It helps produce great hormones in the uterine walls and give the vagina a great smell. Just sweet potatoes by eating them. Garlic. Um, garlic is the best thing ever. Garlic is antimicrobial. It's a, a yeast fighter. It kills off bad bacteria that causes the smell, okay? So you could eat one garlic clove a day. Chew it up. I don't care how it smells. Chew it up really really good so when you chew you're getting all the elysian out which is the medicine you want to chew the garlic clove up chew it up really really good swallow it down keep it on one side because it's hot no need in spreading it around the mouth chew it on one side swallow it when you get finished if your breath stink like most of us say oh garlic smells so bad rinse your mouth out with a little um water and salt water the smell goes right away okay now another way we can use this garlic one garlic clove a big piece of garlic clove you want to peel it you want to stick holes in it and you can take the garlic clove insert it inside the vagina once a month it will absorb all yeast all fungus all bad bacteria get yourselves up in the morning Simple, and I'm giving it to you in the raw. Get yourselves up in the morning with your fingers and get your garlic clove out of your vagina. No, 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 it does not keep your, it does not have your vagina smelling like garlic. But I can tell you this, once you insert that clove inside the vagina and leave it in overnight, you feel the healing and the rejuvenation being pulled out of the entire body, okay? If you should get a little burning, that's because your vagina is not well. That will go away in five minutes, okay? Be patient. Also, you can drink garlic water. You want to take two cloves of garlic, put in a little, I would say, 16 ounces of distilled water. <coughs> drink a cup a day. A cup a day. Not only that, it's going to help your blood vessels in your heart valves um it's also going to keep the uterine walls inside the vagina very very healthy okay now let's get into natural lubrication sometimes if, if the vagina is too dry it can cause bad bacteria which bad bacteria is going to cause the vagina to smell let me tell you something what you can eat to cause natural lubrication which would be avocados apples flaxseed and a lot of distilled water um also you can do um cayenne pepper um what i mean by cayenne pepper you do not put that on the vagina that's not what i'm saying cayenne pepper is good for blood circulation in the uterine walls it stimulates the nerve endings okay and it's great for a woman's arousal so what you would do with the cayenne pepper you want to take a little bit and just sprinkle it in your water have a cup a day any time of the day you want morning noon night fall whatever whatever you want to okay dark chocolate dark chocolate <clears throat> is rich in magnesium which soothes the nerves in the uterine wall okay uh, because if the nerves in the uterine wall get all confused and messed up and and toxic that's what also causes odor in the vagina also dark chocolate is great for sexual functioning okay if you're having that issue but one piece of dark chocolate a day will help that also will help your vagina let's get on fruits and veggies 
you can't get enough fruits and veggies. Fruits and veggies keep that vagina smelling oh so good, okay? Um, and you will have fewer minister cramps. Probably you won't have any minister cramps. Um, now let's get on essential oils, medicinal essential oils, lavender oil. Um, this you can um, this this remedy right here. What I'm going to give you, you can use after you shower or after you bath. You can take some lavender oil. Lavender oil is antifungal and a deodorizer. Lavender oil from plants, a lavender flower. Okay, but lavender oil, we're talking about lavender oil, essential oils. You can take 10 drops of, uh, let's not forget that lavender oil is antimicrobial. And it's, once again, it's an antifungal and it's a deodorizer. You want to take 10 drops of um, lavender essential oil with 8 ounces of distilled water and 1 teaspoon of witch hazel. You want to take that, stir it all up, and you can pour it directly over your, your vagina, or you can put it in a spray bottle and just spray it. Simple. Simple. It won't cause you to have urine, uterine cancer and none of those things. It's going to be a great deodorizer, and it kills off um, bad bacteria that's causing you to sweat and that's causing you to have a stench, Okay. Let's get into tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is uh, great for yeast infections. You want to take three to four drops of, of tea tree oil, put them in your bath water and soak for 20 minutes, okay? That also kills bad bacteria that causes us to what again? Smell. Uh, oregano oil, we're talking about essential oils. Oregano oil. It kills off all bad bacteria that causes odor and yeast infections. Okay? You do the same thing with the oregano oil. Two to three drops in your bath water, soak 20 minutes, and voila. Peppermint oil is antimicrobial. You only want to do one to two drops of peppermint oil in your bath water. Sit for 20 minutes, get out, and voila again. Okay, so we don't have to have all of these things that we know anything about. We don't have to use all of these things on the vaginal area that can possibly give us uterine cancer and things like we, we you don't have to do that when there are plants and foods that you can take on a daily basis, things that you can use on a daily basis that won't cause you to um, have horrible side effects won't cause us to have bleeding in the vagina, won't cause us to have cysts and tumors. There are many of things, as I just gave you, I gave you something that you can take for a lifetime, things that you can teach your granddaughters. Uh, and let me say, these things that I just told you are not just for women. These are for men as well. Men also have odors in the pubic hairs. Men also have um, odors in the buttock area. Okay, so this is just for overall, but I came to you guys today because I've been hearing so much about this cream that women are flocking to, and that's just the easy way out. And a lot of women don't want to spend the money on essential oils because they feel it's expensive, but nothing is too expensive to save your life. Nothing is too expensive. So if you have to uh, buy one essential oil a week, then do that. Do that. So I was just coming to let you guys know because it, it's, it was very disturbing to me to hear these women, a lot of women just taking the easy way out. And, you know, you put that down there, but you have not um, killed the culprit. And the culprit is on the inside. We have to take care of the inside first. That's why I gave you foods to eat, fruits and veggies, no animal protein. Uh, if you want a good smelling vagina, if you want your organs to smell good, if you want your bowels not to stink really bad, and your poop is not supposed to stink, but we'll get on that at a whole nother time, okay? Just remember you are what you eat. If you're having a smelly vagina, think about what you ate the night before. Think about what you eat on a daily basis. That's why your vagina stink. Your vagina stink, your pubic hair stink, you're musty and all those things because of what you're eating, it is you that's giving yourselves the problem, not your vaginas, okay? So I will talk to you guys later, and I hope to see you in the next video. 
And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Give me some comments. And I know I'm quite sure I'm going to get some, maybe some comments that is just plain foolishness. And I'm just not going to pay you guys any attention, okay? <laughs> so with that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Uh, share, share, share this video. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace and blessings.